Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at a site called theserversite.com, and you can follow me on Twitter too, at CameronMCNZ. And right now I wanted to talk to you about how to delete a GitLab branch. And in this case, I'm going to be deleting it from the server and then synchronizing my client environment so that my client GitHub repository is in sync with the server. I've got another tutorial that shows you how to actually delete the branch from the client and then push that deletion back to the server. So that one's more like a, a remote deletion of a branch. So, But on this one, I'm going to start in the server and then push it to the client. On the other tutorial, I'll start in the client and push it to the server. As with all things, we must start by logging into the GitLab administrative console, poking at the GitLab Made Easy project. And in this case, I want to take a look at the different branches in my repository, which should include master and feature and a whole bunch of others. There's fun feature, release, master. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually delete this fun feature branch. It's been merged into develop and develop's been merged into master. So I don't have any need for this particular branch anymore. So how do you delete a branch inside of the tool? Well, there's a little white garbage can. Some people say it's a red garbage can. It's not. It's a white garbage can and a red background. Details matter. And you just click that garbage can and that fun feature branch is now gone. Now, some people might be wondering how do you maybe delete the release branch. Notice it's protected. If you want to do some manipulation like delete a protected branch, you're going to have to go into settings. And from settings, click on repository. From repository, you're going to have to click on protected branches, and then you're going to have to find that button for the branch that says unprotect. Now, you'll need permissions to do that. You know, not anybody can do that. So if you don't have permissions to unprotect the branch, you're not going to be able to delete it either. Um, but yeah, if you do unprotect it and you've got permissions to do that, then you can delete the branch if it's protected. Okay, so as you can see, deleting a branch, really not all that difficult. Now, a lot of times people aren't really worried about deleting the branch so much as they're, they're concerned with synchronizing their workstation with the deleted branch. So for example, if I go and pretend that I'm a developer here and I go and move into my GitLab repository on my local machine, CD GitLab made easy. Do a git status. Currently I'm on the release branch, so that's fine. But also if I take a look at all of the different branches that I've got, kind of two dashes, notice that I've still got this fun feature branch, right? And if I do a git pull origin, it says I'm already up to date. If I do a git branch dash A, you notice I've still got that fun feature branch. So how do I actually delete that branch, given the fact that it's been deleted up on the server? Um, well, the way that you do it is you just actually do a prune. So right now I say, hey, I want to do a git fetch. And dash P is the switch that you use for prune. By the way, I, I got an error message earlier when I did dash, what was it, dash all? Um, two dashes for a word one dash for a letter. So um, here I'll do git fetch prune and I'll just use a short form. So single dash and P. And you notice now it says this particular file has been deleted. And if I do a git branch dash dash all two dashes because it's a full word git branch dash A because it's an alias, same command, uh, you'll notice that uh, the fun feature is no longer there. And so that prune command has now got rid of that remote reference. And now with that remote reference gone, I can actually delete the branch locally. And that's just a matter of issuing the command git branch dash D and the name of the branch, fun feature. And now when I do a git branch dash A, you notice that the remote reference is gone and the actual local branch is gone as well. And so there you go. That's all there is to deleting branches from GitLab and subsequently cleaning up your local repository so that you no longer reference that remote branch. 
And there you go, that's all there is to deleting a GitLab branch and pruning your local Git repository. And then again, that starts from the server. That starts in the GitLab server, deletes it on the server, and then synchronizes the workspace. In the next tutorial, I'll show you actually how to create, delete the branch from your client machine using Terminal or Eclipse, and then push those changes to your remote server. So you might be interested in that one as well. But anyways, if you want more information on GitLab, if you want more information on Git, and for that matter, anything going on on the server side, microservices development, Agile, Java, you name it, head over to theserverside.com and also follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.